Hi everybody, number 56 today, two Tabatas in a week, crazy, which is also the big theme for this Tabata. It's a little crazy. Um, some of you are gonna probably totally love it because it'll be tiff totally different than what we've done. Not totally, but a lot different. And it might stress those muscles in a way that you haven't done in a little while, kind of changing things up. Some of you will hate it because it's kind of weird um, or maybe too jumpy or something, but we'll see how it goes. Today's Tabata is about contrasting um, a controlled movement and a bounding movement. We're gonna do four Tabatas, I mean four um, doubles in a row. So a 50 second cardio, 50 second strength, 50 second cardio, 50 second strength. You guys tend to like those better than the 20 seconds, just gonna say that. Uh, by any means, you can always take the 10 second break if you like, the music will still cue you to do that. The cardios are all going to be, instead of like super fast jacks, instead it's going to be big propulsive type movements some you've done before. So for instance, skates will be one. And if you don't want to push up and lift off the sky, you can always do low and dirty and mean skates. So I'll try to show both versions. Um, and then the strength is going to be an isometric hold. Um, so we don't need any hand weights today at all. We're mostly using our body weight in the floor. The very last cardio, is gonna be vaults, which is off of a bench. Um, so it's that bounding movement to go up and over a bench, so bounding. Um, if, again, if you don't wanna do that, I will show a low impact, or if you don't have a bench, um, we can do something different instead of that. That's at the very end. Behind me, though, I have a very interesting little setup here. I have two kitchen chairs. I put towels on top of them so that um, my wood broom handle does not fall off or roll off. Um, you could, I just took the handle off my push broom and um, we're gonna be using this kind of like a bar. What the beauty part of it is that I can pick this up and move it when I hit down in between these chairs and I'm going to be holding my body weight with this bar by lifting up. Um, it can keep my butt on the ground and I can still isometrically hold with my biceps and upper back. So those are the two movements we're doing here with a broom handle. Make sure it's thick enough to hold your body weight. You know, a simple dowel rod is not gonna probably cut it. I also probably wouldn't go with um, plastic. It might just bend in half. Um, make sure you've got nice sturdy chairs, nothing on wheels. That would not be a good idea. It might roll out and then you could take the bar and your chops and that would suck. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, so everything today is pretty much using the floor, bench, I only have the bench one time, like I said, with, with vaults, and then this little fancy get up. So feel free to pause the video now if you wanna try to get some chairs and towels and find a broom handle. You could also maybe like, maybe you have a child that's had crutches before, you could lay a crutch across maybe and hold on to that. Um, so those are some thoughts as to what you could use for this kind of a setup. Um, but the rest is just gonna be on the floor. Yeah, all right. It's a late one for me tonight. It's quarter to seven at night, but uh, I had to go to Costco. Ugh, it was horrid. I hate Costco. But I decided I was gonna still get her done tonight. So let's uh, warm up, shall we? Hands on those thighs. Exhale out, hands on the thighs, round and roll it up. Shoulders roll back, big deep inhale up. Exhale out, one more time. Roll it up, shoulders, inhale up. Exhale out, we're gonna lean side to side. I need to turn this down a little. Good, a little higher. Out 
queen. Toe tap and swing, whatever you want to call it. Hamstring curl. Arms up. Good. Feet wide and squat. Down. Down. Four. Three. Two. Down and hold. Little lean. Higher, 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 toe tap. Told you today was gonna be weird. Using my weird music too. Hamstring curl. Arms and knees, here we go. Up, up.
Tabata is more on strength and power, less on cardio, meaning I shouldn't have total <laughs> panting breaths, but hopefully you'll be tired. Remember, we're trying to go 50 seconds here. triceps, cobra, low cobra hold, up and push and hold, isometrics, shoulders away from the ears, pull the elbows away from you, heel the hands, booty is relaxed. seconds if you choose. We're going to put in those little pulses. Right here. Pulse. 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 Up, down. Up, down. Up, down.
Notice how straight your arms are here. Don't let the arms dip down. We're gonna go in, touch your shoulders, lift up, shoulders and out. Strong arms, come on. Uh, punch, punch up. Good. Back to squat, squat press up. Squat, squat lift. Engage those biceps. 
Now we're gonna lift up with little pulses, chest to the bar and back down. At 45, up, down, up, down, up, down. Nice. Cool. Side lunge the other way. Knee twist or knee propulsion. Lunge. Or knee thrust without hurting that low back. Up. 
and up and up, 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 heels down and up. On those tiptoes too. Glutes. Hamstrings, calves. Last one. Adding the heel taps. touches and then lift a knee then that knee goes back out three two then lift a knee then goes back out the rest of us are going to do three jumping jacks and a knee tuck the jacks don't have to be super fast the knee tuck doesn't have to be there you can do jacks the whole time so you choose all right um, then we're going into a push-up and you can choose to hold the push-up and work the shoulders. You can just choose to do shoulder taps or you can choose to hold with one arm out. You choose what you want to do. Three, Jackson, two, tuck. One. Remember, I'm focusing on the tuck. So the jacks don't have to be killer. Chest, 
and shoulders. Jackson, jump. Four, three, two, one. lunges for taking out all the bounce. On the strength, we're going to go back to this bar, but we're going to have a wide grip and we're going to be holding contractually, contractually, let's have a good contract. We're going to contract our muscles and a wide upper back and squeeze through that upper back. So we're going to keep the butt on the ground, but open and arch that chest up a little bit to squeeze through that upper back. So high knee skip. I'm gonna be in and out of your screen. You be all over your room. Thank you. 
push my weight. Make sure it's a little wider for that. You know what's here, right? We're gonna add in the pulse. Four, three, two. Right here. You knew this was coming, right? From the very first one that was isometric and pulse, you knew this was gonna come eventually. Come on. Aya! Oh. 
four, three, two, one. If you still want pushing without a bench, you can do a broad jump. Same thing, big lift. Little hops back. Three little hops backwards. Forgot to say that one. Four, three, two, one. little tiny dips not all the way down there remember it's just a pulse three two one the focus should be more on the lift up oh I think this is gonna be one of my favorite Tabatas here we go, back to the crunch. Knee pull in. Thank you. 
other side. Four, three, two, one. Job, everybody. Four, three. Little tiny two, downs and ups. One. And knees back up center, other direction. I wonder if you can hear my dog drinking water. He's so loud, he's such a boy. back up center, wrap your arms around them, bring your chin up between those knees, tight little ball, and release down, one foot to the floor, one leg up, hamstring. Place that foot on the opposite knee. Ooh, bring that knee in. And switch legs, hamstring. Release that foot on the other knee and pull that knee in. When the evening shadows and the stars appear, and there is no one there to dry up. So I pretty felt all of that, except upper back was really challenging to kind of get it as wide as I wanted to. So I'm gonna have to think about that one a little bit. So sorry. needed it to be higher, I think, because I can do this. Anyway, I'll stop thinking while I'm still talking to you. All the way up, pivot to a side, quad stretch. Should be focusing on you, not about what went wrong. <laughs> something a little different. Be curious. See how that works out for you. I kind of liked it. It's kind of different. My husband said, why don't you just use one that you've already done? Well, because they're recorded. They'll know. <laughs> Which I'm sure you wouldn't, but I would know. I'm going to do the same one that's already on film. <laughs> 
and release. Hands and, th hands and knees, arch your back up like a cat. And release, arch up. And release, one foot back, calf stretch. And switch, and maybe Terry will do this one in Hawaii since it didn't require hand weights. <sighs> Hope you're having fun, Terry. Awesome, knees in, tuck those toes under, rock and roll back. Moving all the way up, round and roll up. Big deep inhale up. Pull tall. Hands and back, open up through the chest. And around in front, open through the back. Inhale up. Exhale out, roll that neck around a little bit. I can kind of feel mine. Both ways. Oh, yeah. Big deep inhale up. Exhale out. Thank you so much for number 56. I hope you had a great, great time. Talk to you sooner than later.